Welcome to Studio 21. I'm your host, Daniela John. Things may look a little different this semester. Instead of filming in our luxurious studio, I'm filming in my apartment. That's right, Studio 21 is all the same segments and musical performances you love, but virtual. The pandemic can make everything seem more difficult or lonelier, but that's why I'm here, to help you to get off the couch and into the city. So let's see what's happening this week in San Antonio. This Thursday, San Antonio's Botanical Gardens is hosting their weekly origami night from 6 to 9 p.m. Their 38-acre garden allows for enough space to socially distance and enjoy the blend of nature and art. This event will include exhibition tours, Japanese-inspired food and cocktails, and of course, origami. So pack up your camp chairs or blankets and head over to the San Antonio Botanical Gardens for a night of fun. I know, I'll check it out. As Halloween approaches, I have a few fun fall events for you this weekend. On Friday and throughout the month of October, the San Antonio Zoo is hosting their annual Zoo Boo, but this time it's a drive through Not only will you see monkeys and zebras, but also you'll get to trick or treat from the comfort of your own car. But if you would rather walk around masked and join the dance parties, pumpkin paintings, or even the hay maze, you can do that too. This event is fun for the entire family, so put on your costume and check out the Zoo Boo this Friday from 5 to 8 p.m. Perhaps zoos aren't your thing. That's okay too. I have another drive through event for you this weekend from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The ninth annual Burton Ball is happening throughout the month of October at San Antonio's Traders Village. This event celebrates everything Tim Burton with spooky music, unnerving decor, and Burton-themed art. Their costume contest boasts over a thousand dollars in prizes and cash. Wow, that makes me want to find a Sally or Oogie Boogie costume ASAP. But if you would rather stay at home, you could do that too. Browse from their online vendors. Put on your best Jack Skellington suit and head over to the Burton Ball this weekend. That's it for me guys, thanks for watching. I hope you get out there and make some friends. Stay tuned for release date, Gossip Guru, and a great musical performance from this week's guest, 34K. Hi, Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to a new Studio 21 segment called What's the Trinity? Ooh, tell Carmen, tell me, what is What's the Trinity? All right, so the tea on what the Trinity is, oh, is that like it's, that. A, <laughs> it's a new show, so essentially we'll pick up a pop culture thing of the week, we'll have two questions, and then me and Ethan will be in the studio here in the library, and we'll tell our hot takes on it, and then we'll take it to you, the people in... Trinity! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so for this week, well, we have two topics right now, so we have a Harry Styles that's going to be in the new Don't Worry Darling film by Olivia Wilde, Ooh. so we're going to talk a little bit about that, and then we'll finish her off by talking about what's the weirdest TikTok that we're on right now. I love both of these. <laughs> I think we found two prospective people to ask questions to. Let's see what they have to say. Let's go. Hello. Hi. Okay, so I'm Carmen. I'm Ethan. Okay. Awesome. So first question, if you're talking about a new movie called like, Don't Worry Darling, do you have any thoughts about that? Have you heard of it? Have you heard of it? Harry Styles' new movie. I have not heard yeah, it. Yeah, it's going to be a new movie with Florence Pugh, Chris, Chris Pine. Pine. It's going to be everything. Ooh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Tell me, yes. How do you feel? I'm excited. Right? Yeah, I love yeah. Harry Styles. Yes, I love Harry Styles. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it gets me a good time. Who doesn't love Harry Styles? What's you the weirdest TikTok that you've gotten on recently? Oh, like Pennsylvania? I'm on Draco oh, Malfoy TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see. I'm on like school project TikTok. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gotta get that grind going on. <laughs> that was great. Let's keep it going. Go. go, go, go. What's the weirdest side of TikTok? Yeah. I would say I would say straight TikTok. Okay. <laughs> worst? Did you say worst? Weirdest. I stand yeah. by what I said. <laughs> um. So Harry Styles is currently filming a new movie. Have you heard about it? Give me thoughts. I have no idea what it is, but I'm sure it'll be good. I'm sure the kids will love it. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Can I ask you a question? Uh, sure. And what's the weirdest side of TikTok? Um. I'm on Office Depot TikTok. Yeah. Oh. Pin stuff. Pretty yeah. cool. 
Um, and then Connor Score TikTok probably. Wow. Let's okay, have go. you gotten the Sharpie pins on the weird, like the office TikTok? Yes. Yes. Do you I, still know. Know. I know I can't get one anywhere. I'm like, I'm not going to use Amazon, but like, I'm really going to go check again today. Yes, dude. You heard it here first. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Bye, okay. y'all. Have a good one. Bye. Well, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. This is your voice. Stay tuned for next week when we have two more special topics. Woo! Bye! Hi, everyone. I'm Anna Serrano. I'm Julie Francis. And we would like to welcome you back to Gossip Guru. Our first story for today is that Saturday Night Live has returned for its 46th season with a live studio audience at Studio 8H after months away due to coronavirus. The NBC variety show opened with a sketch on last week's presidential debate between President Donald Trump, played by Alec Baldwin, and former Vice President Joe Biden, who was played by Jim Carrey. The segment was introduced with the following as a rebroadcast of Tuesday's presidential debate. Even though Tuesday feels like 100 years ago, we thought it was important to see it again since it might be the only presidential debate. And it was pretty fun to watch as long as you don't live in America. Overall, I thought Carrie's much hyped debut of Biden um, replacing last season's mix of Woody Harrelson and Jason Sudeikis was really well executed and hilarious. Um, Saturday Night Live also paid tribute to Ruth Bader Ginsburg who passed away on September 18th by panning over and zooming in on Kate McKenna in her RBG costume. McKinnon put on, put her right hand over her chest and bowed her head slightly. The show then dissolved into a rest in power graphic before it went into commercial break. McKinnon has portrayed the late Supreme Court justice for the past few years, so it was really sad, but also really lovely seeing her put on the infamous black robe and prop glasses for the very last time. What a great story. So interesting. Uh, so now our second story involves icon Rihanna, the singer, makeup guru, clothing designer, actress, goddess, uh, just released her Savage X Fenty show volume two. And it was kind of amazing. Uh, Savage X Fenty is her lingerie line that she founded in 2018. And the show was showing off all the new designs. Uh, so it was released on October 2nd to be streamed exclusively on Amazon Prime, and it had all kinds of celebrities to model the lingerie, including Cara Delevingne, Lizzo, Big Sean, Bella Hadid, Normani, <laughs> Travis Scott. The list truly just goes on. Um, but the show also featured various smaller uh, models and dancers to model. Um, the show overall is being praised for how inclusive it is. Models of all sizes, colors, age, and gender were included in the show. When I say age, I mean older, uh, like Demi Moore, who was there, and she's 57. So the Victoria's Secret fashion show literally would never. It's mm -hmm. a bit dragged for being young, tall, skinny, usually white, angels on the runway. So the Savage X Fenty show kind of killed it in diversity. But of course, there's always something wrong. Uh, so there has been some controversy with the show. Um, one of the songs that was included in, uh, had a hadith in it, uh, which are writings about the Prophet Muhammad are, and are considered to be very sacred in Islam. So overall, was the show a service or a disservice to representation? Uh, who's, who's to say? Look, seems like it did a little bit of both, so. I would agree. And also I heard that this is actually the second time that Rihanna has used um, the Hadith in one of her runway fashion shows. So that's, that's a bit of a scandal. I, we expect better from her, even though overall the fashion show was really inclusive. Any final thoughts? No, Rihanna, um, that's just really upsetting because she is so, everything else she's done so well. And she's, the fact that she keeps missing the mark on this one makes me wonder. So. Okay, well, thank you everybody for tuning in today. We are Gossip Guru, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> Hello, 34K. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. I would love to hear about your um, name. How did you come up with it? Actually, um, I've been playing basketball since I was really young. A coach that I had back in middle school, uh, she was like, and, and at the time I was doing music uh, and my name is Carrington with a K. 
So mm-hmm. in my number in basketball was 34. So it is 34. So she was like, you know, I was thinking about what your stage name could be. And she actually gave it to me. So shout out to her. Uh, <laughs> so that's where it came from. Actually, it's a mix of two loves that I have. And and it just kind of all worked out that way. And it has like a double meaning. So I'd love to hear about, you know, your start with music, how you came to it. So when I was about a, maybe 10 or 11 years old, uh, I was a really big gamer actually i like to play video games and the one game that i loved to play was guitar hero what happened was i was so infatuated with the game that i was like man these songs are so cool i want to learn how to play guitar in real life and so i begged my dad to go get me a guitar and i was really bad at it for about a year (laughs) Uh, but i just kept at it because i just liked it and loved it and then over the time over the course of time i started actually singing and playing uh songs i was into a lot of like alternative music uh stuff from the 90s uh uh like incubus and oasis and things of that nature and i was playing a lot on acoustic guitar and then um then i started writing when i was about 14 um i started trying to drop some words down and that's kind of how everything kind of began and i started creating my own style from there well how would you kind of describe your style i bounce around a lot but i kind of i stick to the the soul and r&b side of things mostly um i definitely like rock music as well and uh like blues classic rock music so um some of my favorite guitarists are like john mayer eric clapton um stevie ray vaughn those kind of people i guess um that side of me in the guitar realm uh as just a guitarist that i'm really inspired by but as far as just me writing i like a lot of the r&b and soul music how would you describe your creative process what i use for writing a lot of the time is i'll pick up an instrument whether it's mm-hmm. piano or guitar um mostly guitar uh though uh is where i usually go to and i'll just kind of start fiddling around playing um and sometimes that's just this is sometimes those but a lot of times um when i'm fiddling and playing around um the iphone has like a voice memo app Mm -hmm. so i'll just like start recording and i'll just start singing melodies and stuff and 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 sometimes things come out of my mouth and i'm like oh i gotta write that down and then then from there it's almost like the song I don't ever really tell the like I'm never like okay today I'm gonna go write a song about this. It's never usually like that with me. Usually it's I'll say something sub it's like some something subconscious in my brain will just come out and do these recordings and then I'll be like okay and it kind of almost the song almost kind of tells me what it wants to be about. Do you have any upcoming projects? Um, you know anything you're in the works? Um, I've been currently working on a new album that I'm gonna try to drop next summer um and be on the lookout actually the two songs from my performance most likely will be on there um full productions so definitely look out for that thank you all uh for letting me come target tv i really appreciate it i am super super excited for to be able to uh give you my performance um if you wanted to follow me i am at the 34k on everything facebook uh Instagram, um, Twitter, um, except for YouTube, YouTube, I'm a 34K, 34K music. Uh, so if that is what you want to follow, go ahead and follow me there. And uh, thank you so much again. Perfect. Thank you so much. And stick around to the end of the episode for 34K's performance. Hi, I'm Madison Poljan. And I'm Ben Poljan. Welcome to Release Day. Our movie this week is The Crudes, A New Age. A sequel to the first Crudes, it follows everyone's favorite cave family. Groog, Uga, Eep, Thunk, Sandy, and my personal favorite, Gran, as they meet and are challenged by a rival family, the Bettermans, who claim to be more evolved and better in every way. The movie seems to be full of funny one-liners and fun family dynamics. Hey everyone, you'll never guess what I found out! Sorry, honey. We thought you were a predator trying to kill us. No, never apologize for an effective kill circle. The original Crudes, if nothing else, had a very unique premise. This allowed for some very interesting set pieces. However, in this movie, the Neanderthals meet the Cro-Magnons, which are our ancestors, and live alongside them in their comparatively high-tech house, which makes for an even more interesting dynamic than between the family and God. I agree. 
One thing I'm really looking forward to is the friendship between, between Eep and Dawn. It kind of seems like if Merida met Moana and they went on an adventure, and I am here for it. The Croods, A New Age, is set to release on November 25th in theaters. But keep your eye out for any access on online streaming sites. The game that we are going to be showing off today is going to be Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. This game takes one of the best games on the Wii U and adds it to the Nintendo Switch. Along with that, they also added brand new content known as Bowser's Fury, which is a mystery to everyone at the moment, but more information will be released soon. I remember playing Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U. I loved the cat power-ups and the creative style of the 3D world. I can't wait to play this game on the Switch and see what new levels and features they bring in in Bowser's Fury. I also love this game, and I cannot wait until it comes out on the Nintendo Switch February 12th, 2021. I'm Madison Poljan. I'm Benjamin Poljan. And thank you for watching Release Date. Hello, hello, hello. This is 34K. Nice to virtually meet you. <laughs> I am a singer, songwriter, producer local here to San Antonio, and I want to first off thank Tiger TV for having me back again this year. I'm super excited to give you this performance, and hopefully you enjoy it. Let's get it. <laughs> Hello again. Um, this next song is called Imagination to Reality, and the premise behind the song is for all you creative people out there, people with big hearts, big dreams, big passions, don't ever let anybody bring you down, all right? Because they're squares. <laughs> all right. One, two. I try to see the world from many angles. I can never be sure. Yeah. But what the hell do I need to be so sure for? Cause sometimes clear as day The only way to operate You need a little spot of gray To see what your mind can create So say don't be a big dreamer Cause big dreamers are bound to fall short yeah. But the so-called some say Is missing what this life has in store yeah. They don't Stand at no limit equals lightning And you're striking all throughout your brain So all my answers it does Go ahead and put your feet up Relax while I'll explain my case Passion people everywhere They tell no to come back to reality A risk is worth a little fear For you to reach the top And take a trip with me Cause your potential Cannot be found by the ordinary uptight systematic compound Just well within your reach Look behind what you see Imagination turns to reality Imagine you imagine in a new reality It's time to open your mind I know it's very boring in this world When you've been told what to choose But go against the gradient I swear it's more exciting to do Say that ain't me and no to some Everywhere you turn you're giving eight away drum Acoustic it is what I please I'd rather strum while I just sit back and hum Talking like mm, 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 mm. The mainstream topic on and everybody rocking to the same old song and Just know you ain't wrong for making things your own Cause you know it yourself like nobody can People everywhere, it's all going to come back to reality. A risk is worth a little fear for you to reach the top and take a trip with me. Cause your potential cannot be bound by the ordinary of the systematic compound. As well within your reach, look behind what you see. Your imagination turns to reality. Imagine you imagining a new reality It's time to open your mind yeah. It's time, it's time, it's time Imagination It's time, it's time
time, it's time to let the imagination Fashion people everywhere, it's so long to come back to reality A rich kid's worth a little feel, the uteries That's all, cause your potential cannot be bound By the ordinary, up to systematic abounds as well with, yeah be how what you see, cause imagination turns to reality. Imagine you, imagine me, and I'm new reality. Imagine you, imagine me, and I'm new reality. Imagine you, imagine me, and I'm new reality. It's time to open your So that one is definitely one of my favorites. Um, so I I like pop music. I like R&B music. I like soul music. Um, but um, I have a little bit of a rock side as well. <laughs> um, so this next one is uh, called Little Angel. And it's very, very much about being saved by someone. Um, so hopefully you enjoy. Trapped in a fire for way too long Needed someone to rescue me Oh yes, I've been tied up, I feel it's gone I needed someone to nurture me Okay, I plan to get you Maybe as I are impeccable smile. Oh, 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 o